happening now a lot is drug driving. Um, and that's where people have had something, we'll say, on a Saturday night, and they're stopped at one of these mandatory checkpoints three days later, even a week later. They have to give a sample of the saliva. The, the saliva is then put into a machine which tests for up to eight or nine different drugs, cannabis, benzodiazepines, uh, amphetamines, methamphetamines, ketamine, all that sort of stuff, and, and cocaine. And if that sample of saliva shows up the presence of any one of those things, you're going to be arrested right there and then. Then you're brought to the station and the sample of blood is taken from you. And if it subsequently shows up uh, in the analysis from the Medical Bureau of Road Safety, you could be facing a year off the road. People don't realize that cannabis will stay in your system for a long time. So you could be potentially prosecuted and convicted for something today that you did two weeks earlier and it's not acting on your system in any bad way you're, you're not obviously intoxicated you were at the time but not two weeks later but you could be put off the road for that thing so you could smoke a joint on a saturday night and the following thursday yes yeah the following thursday like there's no way that the, the cannabis joint is, is still acting on your central nervous system and making you intoxicated in any way uh, you're fine at some point the next day or the day after that you're, you're perfectly, you, you have all the out, outward appearances of being sober, but if you're stopped at a checkpoint and they do a saliva test and it shows up, uh, you will be prosecuted and you could end up being put off the road for a year for that. So things that happened two weeks ago could come back to haunt you. What, what are the punishments for, for drug driving? It's the same as drink driving. Um, the, the, the limits are set, you're, you're allowed to have a kind of minute amount of, of, of substances in your system, but that's, it's set at such a low level, uh, it just about gets past the uh, reality that you might have had in your system due to passive inhalation because somebody next to you was smoking. So it, there, there is a level, but once you exceed that level, then uh, it's a straightforward 12-month ban. Um, once you exceed a, the, a limit for these substances, you, you are facing a disqualification. Uh, it's usually capped at one year. You know, it's, it's a one-year ban for that. Drink or drug or drink driving is kind of graded depending on qu uh, levels, but in, in drug driving at the moment, it's 12 months. One of the major ways now that people are being stopped uh, for drink, drink or drug driving is what's known as a mandatory intoxilizer checkpoint, um, and these things are set up at specific places at specific times. Uh, on, specific, on specific dates. Uh, guards are given permission in writing from an inspector and the inspector will say that on this date, uh, in this place, between the hours of 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. or whatever it is, I want a checkpoint set up. And so once they have that authorization from an inspector uh, to set up a checkpoint, they're authorized to stop and get anybody to give a sample of their saliva, whether or not they think that person is intoxicated or otherwise. Uh, you could be perfectly fine uh, but they can ask you to provide a specimen of your saliva using a device that they give you and you must provide it.